over a 3,500 peso package, you can ride this pump boat as we call it, all day, wherever you want. Today, we're traveling from Samal Island going to Talikot Island. Our activity for today, diving in the most visited spot in the island, the Coral Garden. I was excited as I wait to arrive in the garden. To avoid boredom, I talked to my diving instructors since this will be my first time to go scuba diving deeper into the sea. And take note, I really don't know how to swim. But since diving into the sea requires someone to accompany me, hence, I took the chance to go diving. As we were talking, the two divers gave me some tips already in diving. I replied back with some questions, like how is it to be underwater? Will it be possible for a non-swimmer to dive as deep as 20 feet? Well, I will wait for that time to come. It's very soon. It's 30 minutes away. While the trip continues, our divers are slowly preparing for the scuba apparatus. Seeing these pieces of apparatus has doubled my excitement in scuba diving. What is scuba by the way? It is self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. By the way, introducing to you, my scuba diving master for today's adventure is René Guadalquiver of Moonstar Scuba Divers Club. As we go along the way, René slowly discussed to me the basics of scuba diving. I was introduced to this scuba diving apparatus, namely regulator, BCP, fins, mask, and weight belt. As each apparatus of scuba diving are needed in every diving activity, René took time to discuss each part. Let's start with this regulator. How to use, this is the mouthpiece of the regulator. So, kailangan i-bite natin to. Then, make sure na you can close your lips outside the uh, mouthpiece. Para every time na mag-inhale tayo underwater, hindi sasama yung tubig. Okay? Okay, how to breathe normal using the regulator underwater is a mouth breathing only. So, inhale, exhale, sa bibig ng lahat. But don't worry, because... Normally, ang tao, isa nose breathing tayo. Yun yung pinaka-comfortable natin na paghinga dito sa surface. But, we explore underwater, so kailangan natin mag-mouth breathing. So, before tayo mag-go down mamaya, so practice muna tayo into surface. So, saka na tayo bababa kung comfortable na tayong maghinga underwater para iwas tayo problema by uh, your breathing. Okay? Nakuha? Rene said that every regulator is self-demand. So, self-demand meaning to say, pag hindi ka mag-inhale, hindi siya magbigay hangin sa atin underwater. So, in short, do not hold your breath underwater. Okay? So, continue breathing. Kaya nito, naka-on ang tanki, naka-on ang regulator, but wala siyang hangin na nag-gawas, uh, labas. Because sa self-demand, kung, kung hindi mo siya i-inhale, wala siyang hangin. Okay? Okay, so just in case malfunction yung primary regulator, you can use the secondary regulator. This is the purpose of this secondary regulator. Spare natin to underwater just in case malfunction yung primary. Second purpose, uh, just in case maubusan yung hangin yung kasama natin underwater, then ikaw or sino sa atin kung meron pang enough air to go surface, pwede mo tong i-share sa kanya. In case sea water comes inside the mouthpiece of the regulator, he said, I have to remove it so that I can breathe freely again. So there are two method. Paano kukunin yung tubig sa loob ng bibig? First method, blast method. Pag inhale, may kasamang tubig or magkaroon ng leak yung lips natin underwater. So you can blast the regulator. Buga mo lang. So for example, nakasukot ka. Then pag inhale, may kasamang tubig. Blast mo lang. Buga mo lang sa regulator. No need tanggalin yung regulator. Itutulak niya yung tubig, yung hangin. Pag-blush natin, itutulak niya palabas sa exhaust sa regulator. 
Okay? So, pangalawang method, hanapin nyo lang ng center ng regulator. Dito. Then, press. Para i-tulak din niya palabas. So, ang, ang, ang diferensya from blush and pulse method, blush method, you can push the water inside our mouth by using your own ear. Our own ear. Galing sa lungs. So, sa pulse method, pinapalabas natin yung tubig sa loob ng bibig natin gamit ang hangin galing sa tangke. The second apparatus he discussed is the mask. The protector of my eyes and nose. This is diving mask. So, make sure pag suot mamaya sa diving mask, walang buhot na nakaipit sa skirt of mask. This is the skirt of the mask. Kahit isang piraso, dalawang piraso, kailangan walang buhot na nakaipit. Because malakas yung pressure underwater, yung pressure maghahanap yan ng leak sa, sa paligid ng mas natin kasi merong bakanti dito eh. So, maghahanap yan siya ng leak. So, pag merong buhok na nakaipit, doon dadaan yung tubig papasok sa loob ng mas natin. Then, magstay tayo matagal. Kahit konti lang yung tagas sa ano natin, mas natin mamaya. Then, magstay tayo matagal. So, mataas yung tendency na dadami yung tubig. At saka makablock siya sa bisyo natin underwater. So, what I'm going to do, Rene? Once the seawater is inside the mask. So, magmamask clearing tayo. Mag-skills na naman tayo, just in case. So, okay. So, how to do mask clearing? Inhale ka malakas. Into your mouth. Then, look up. Push the upper part of the mask. Ipo-push lang konti dito. Then, exhale it to your nose. Let's see for example. For example, half-plodded or poly-plodded yung mask ko underwater. Inhale ako, by using the regulator arm. Then, look up. Push the upper part. Then, exhale into your nose. Ano lang. Diba? Parang nag-move yung mask. Next in line is the fin. On this part, he'll teach me how to use my legs in diving. You can use platter kick. How to do platter kick? Straight on legs, horizontal yung katawan. Then, paddle your legs up and down. This is the platter key. So, hindi kailangan mabilis yung pag-fins natin underwater. Pag-entry natin mamaya dito, doon tayo yung direction, then yung current doon din patungo. So, straight yung legs natin, pati yung katawan. Sabay na tayo sa agas ng current. So, hindi kailangan mabilis para makakita tayo ng magandang view underwater. Renes says, once a person is underwater, he'll experience pressure. Therefore, he also teaches me how to fight the water pressure from above that pushing down on me. Ma-feel natin yung pressure underwater sa sakit yung tenga, tenga natin. So, paano yung labayan? Through equalize. So, how to do equalize? Inhale ka malakas. Pinch your nose. Then, exhale into your nose. Blue into it. Yan. Para mag-pump yung ears natin underwater. Inhale ka into your mouth, then pinch your nose, then exhale into your nose. Parang pigilan natin yung hangin para mag-pump yung ears natin. Yan, ipapump. Dito sa surface, hindi natin mafe-feel na nag-equalize tayo. Because negative pressure dito eh. Pareho negative pressure. Loob ng tenga natin at sa surroundings, pareho negative pressure. Pag baba natin mamaya, we explore into positive pressure. Merong konting naiwang negative pressure sa loob ng tenga natin. Yung negative pressure na yan, yun yung nagdala ng sakit sa loob ng tenga natin. And every time we go deeper, more negative pressure is to be felt. And therefore, we need to equalize to convert negative pressure to positive pressure. But Rene, how to communicate underwater once a problem arises while we go deeper? You can, we can use hand signal. Sign okay. So every time nag-check kami ng okay sa inyo, So, kailangan namin ng response with okay kung okay naman kayo. If you have a problem, sign problem. Then, point where is your problem. So, for example, problem. Turo nyo yung tenga nyo, nakalimutan nyo paano ma-equalize. So, ha, stop tayo on that level para hindi mas lalala pa yung sakit. Mag-stop tayo, harap kami sa inyo, mag-side kami ng ganun. Meaning to say, mag-equalize kayo. So, after nyo manguha yung equalizing, sign kayo ng okay para proceed tayo. Okay? So, go up, go down, go left, go right. Then stop. Look. Then hold. Underwater. 
After I asked questions to Rene, he asked me back, Are these instructions simple before I implement them underwater? Medyo simple lamang ang mga ang instruction pero unta pag-abot sa pag-abot sa lalo ma-apply. Ma Now, it's diving time. We need to wear scuba diving suit. Before soaking in the water, I took a chance to practice. After which, I wore a weight belt. Since I am ready to dive, I put my fins, then my mask, and now make ready chorus. May is going to explore you now. Before continuing further underwater, it is necessary to practice everything Rene has taught me. Now, it is time for diving! We can now see the beauty of Coral Garden that Island Garden City of Sama has been very proud of. is not easy but with all the instructions my master diver has taught me I know I can do it really the nature has offered only the best for mankind to experience If you dream to explore the underwater, then this place is the best way to start it. As I witness it myself, I can really say, Coral Garden is a great place with natural ambience. What I can proudly say of this adventure is the fact that my teachers and diving accompanied me with care. For all wannabes out there who wanted to explore and experience the way I did, why don't you hire these two divers? They may not be the A-listers in the country, but their accommodation and skills are best so far. In fact, their price is reasonable. Nag-offer me og introduction dive uh, for the price of uh, 850 per person. So including na na whole gear, uh, unlimited pictures underwater, and dive master. And isa ka offer namin sir is a certified dive for uh, 2,200, uh, 2,500 for two dives. So including na na whole gear, unlimited pictures underwater, and dive master. Diver Rene told me that diving is considered to be one of the most effective ways of removing your fats. That if you are very conscious of your look, just like mine. Kung magstay ka in 20 feet, um, more than 20 feet and 20 minutes underwater, you can burn calories 1,400. So kung less than 20, may naman siya maburn, but uh, dili kayo siya as in in ana ka dako nga calories na masunog sa imong lawas because of the pressure above uh, 20 is a uh, shallow din na kayo kusog ang pressure so pag more than 20 ka 
mas the more kusog ang pressure, mas paspas maburn ang mga cal calories underwater. Rene and his companion don't just dive, they protect the ocean. So, ang mga activity sa na sir, ginahin mo na mo, like uh, last, last, month, uh, last month ago, na aming activity sa uh, month of the ocean, ang mga ginahin mo is nag uh, scuba sorero me, uh, nag coral rehab. So, coral rehab is parang nag coral, coral planting kami underwater na yung mga, mga area na wala kayo corals, ginalagyan namin ng corals. Kung masira yung, yung, masira yung ocean natin, lalo na coral reef, so dako, dako ang, uh, dako ang mawala sa atong earth, o dako ang, dako ang equivalent sa atong earth na masira. Because uh, uh, water, 70% uh, of earth covered by water, so kailangan talaga na protektahan ato ang ocean. Everything down here is awesome. Being one of those who witnessed the beauty of the coral garden, I can recommend this to you to be part of your bucket list once you visit the Philippines, especially the great southern island of Mindanao. <laughs> Must try! I made it. But wait, my ocean adventure is not yet done. Part of the package that a tourist can benefit is the stopover at a wonderful white beach line in Babo Santa, which is still part of the Likod Island. I am excited again to experience white sand. Surely, it can let my feet rest. In addition of the beautiful sceneries I can see here, is in eating of coconut meat. I don't make it pass. I bought one whole raw and ripe coconut. For less than 50 pesos, I can enjoy and be full with this nutritious and delicious big fruit. Of course, I eat here in this comfortable cottage. After this, I tried beach line walking where unintentionally, I found something which I like. adventure, my mind was awakened, just like Diver Rene. In my own little way, I realized I must protect our environment. Otherwise, it may not be here in 20 years. Nagiging certified diver ko for uh, the reason is for fun. Then, nakita na ko kung unsa ang enjoy and then na, na adapt na, na ako ang nature's underwater so nakuha na ako ang trabaho na murag na connect na sa akong life na for na, the nature underwater and the same time sa akong trabaho we really need to to protect our oceans because it's so wonderful and beautiful and i i witness that Try scuba diving and remember, dream, believe, do. I am May Kandya, this is May Explorer and be sure to live a life you will remember. But how to 
reach Samal Island from Davao City, Philippines, try to go to Sasa Onse Port where you can ride a boat. For a fare of only 10 pesos, you can reach Samal Island. But if you wish to bring your car, it will cost 200 to 400 pesos for the fare. After docking on Samal Island, if you travel alone, you can hire a motorcycle taxi to take you anywhere on the island. Today, I am passing by many other popular attractions and going to Kaputian District for only 75 pesos. But if you travel by your car, Kaputian is very easy to find. From Kaputian, you can find pump boat available just like I did. They, as well as other pump boat drivers scattered around the island, can take you to reach the surface of the coral garden. Since you want to go scuba diving, this Moonstar Scuba Divers Club is the best in town. Contact them through their Facebook page at www.facebook.com moonstar.scuba divers club